Anand Ranganathan, has it become an MLA stock exchange as Sanjay Jha insists? And of course, uh, he has a point because uh, what happened in Chandigarh has been very clearly recorded and frowned down upon and the Supreme Court has also had to come in and uh, intervene at the highest level. Uh, good evening, Madhav, and good evening to my fellow panelists. Look, the, the bottom line is that Dr. Uh, Abhishek Manu Singhvi has been caught with his pants down. The problem out here is not the fact that there is open corruption amongst the parliamentarians or the, uh, the people who are elected to the state assemblies. Of course there is. And even though Sanjay might like to believe and spread the fact that only BJP is involved in it, every political party has been doing horse trading since horses were domesticated, but not intended. But the fact of the matter out here is twofold. Number one. It is an open ballot. Contrary to what many people have been saying, the Rajya Sabha elections used to be secret ballot. Then in 1998, uh, and then in 2003, I think it was the NDA government that proposed that it be made an uh, open ballot. I think the late uh, Mr. Jaitley. It went to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court astonishingly agreed and said, look, it should be open ballot. So the MLAs who are voting for a particular candidate have to show who they are voting for to their party representative. And the Supreme Court said, this is to hide, quote unquote, corruption in secret ballot. Uh, whatever that means, I would have thought secret ballot would have allowed a, uh, a, an MLA to be free and fair and forthrightly uh, put forth his or her preferences, as it may be, without party interference. But that is not the case. Now, I want to ask a simple question. In the situation where the MLAs, Congress MLAs, six of them, have to show the party representative who they voted for. Do you think they will not be concerned that their vote towards the BJP candidate would be seen and therefore they would be thrown out of the party? It's a serious question. The fact of the matter is that Congress is not bothered about keeping its flock together. The Congress was not concerned about cross-voting at all. That is the fact. Now, I'm not saying that there was no instance of maybe bribery, but the fact of the matter is the bribe giver as well as the bribe taker, both Sanjay should know are culpable. Unless Sanjay brings proof that BJP was able to bribe as many as not one or two, but six Congress MLAs who hmm. had to show publicly whom they were voting for. I'm right. afraid these are just conspiracy theories and insinuations. Okay, Sanjay. 15 seconds, Madhav. I'm just going to tell all the viewers of your program. It doesn't matter whether the BJP has won some Rath Sabha seats today or not. But I think Indian democracy does not deserve this kind of a mockery where we are now beginning to talk about if the MLAs have been purchased or with a IT or ED threat, it's okay. It is not okay. It is disgusting. It is sickening. Sanjay, it is making a mockery of a public Sanjay, body. Sanjay, have you heard the name of a person called Mr. It. S.T. Someshwara today? Do you know which party that individual who cross-voted belongs to? I'm aware. He is, yes, I'm aware. he has, has cross-voted in favor of the Congress. I'm aware. So why I'm do they say moral high point. grounds and moral yeah. standards not apply in that case, sir? Yeah, no, no, I'm making a bigger point here. The point is oh. not just about... The same Madhav. point applies you, to uh, all. Uh, uh, if there uh, is a principle, uh, it principle uh, applies uh, to uh, everyone. Uh, if there is a constitution, it uh, applies uh, to everyone, sir. Why do uh, these suddenly uh, the these moral standards change when it goes from one state to another? that the BJP was using electoral bonds for funding without disclosing that Congress itself got 10% of the funding through electoral bonds. Madhav, here is the point. This is not just about the MLA stock exchange. It is about electoral bonds that are illegal. No, no, let's please. Sir, I, I understand your larger concerns. Let's let's go with the Raj Sabha election. I mean, there will be a whole gamut uh, tomorrow you'll want to... You, you can discuss the representation of People Act also. You can bring in EVMs also. No problem, sir. But today, kindly let us stick to the Raj Sabha election because there are three states where we've seen a lot that's happened. Your larger concerns may be valid. I'm not getting into that. But I'm just on the limited point that the same yardstick has to be there for all states. Then let us also roundly criticize the Congress government. If you're criticizing yeah. the BJP, criticize the Karnataka government also yeah. for what so it has done. You, yeah, so I'm going to do that. So here is the, my point. Electoral bonds is illegal. No. Purchasing of no. MLAs with no. electoral bonds, that's what's happening. Everything is illegal and corrupted in our political system.